Okay, in this problem, you are being asked to find measure of angle BED. So BED is created from B to E to D. We got a chord, which is BE. We got a chord, which is DE, creating an inscribed angle. Let me show you what it looks like. Boom, boom. There's our angle measure we're trying to find. So we've got to figure out what that angle measure is. How in the world do we do it? Let me show you. If you look at this problem, they do give us some information. In circle C, with measure of minor arc, minor arc would be the small arc, BD. There's your minor arc. Major arc would be going the other way around. Okay, minor arc BD is 42 degrees. Ooh, I'm so glad they gave us 42 degrees right there. Because now that we know that that's 42 degrees, all we have to do is know the rules of geometry and the rules of geometry go like this. So real quick, if I had EF, EF, and I said that that arc measure is 60 degrees, but then I do an inscribed angle, which is taking a chord like that from E and a chord from F to there, and find this angle measure, our inscribed angle measure will always be one half of the arc measure. So in this case, it's arc EF, which is a 60. And all we got to do is cut that in half. And this angle here would be 30. So we go over here and they're telling us our minor arc is 42 degrees. You probably already know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this angle measure, which is cut in half. So what's half of BD's arc measure, 42 times one half gives me 21 degrees. The inscribed angle BED has a measure of 21 degrees. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.